Well, great morning, beautiful souls. I have a message from the universe. And I also have some great... Look at this, guys. Look at this Pablo Santos. All of my clients love this. I think some of y'all just burn it just because you just like the smell of it. But I resonate more with the Palo Santos. And uh, yeah, I've got some really chunky, amazing, beautiful pieces. When I send out my power sets around the world, um, I put Palo Santos in them. And the first thing people say when they open the box is, oh my gosh, this smells amazing. It's like I have some really big pieces. So in the power sets, you're going to be getting big pieces like this instead of the little pieces um instead of you know multiple little um look at this this is amazing but because they're so big i got big i have to find like a different burning um tray to put them in yeah i am so excited about these new palo santos as you see i have my intention candle um which i light um when i get up in the morning i usually like two a day which will be about 11 hours throughout the day um yeah these are some nice size pieces and I'm so excited. They smell so amazing. So yeah, guys, I'm getting ready to give a message. Um, and you would know if this resonates with you, if this message is for you. Um, you can always email me. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Um, the CPR vibe. And this is for someone going through a relationship situation. Um, you're looking for an answer. You were looking for something. Um, and the spirit is saying it doesn't matter if you're married, getting ready to commit, um, just been in a long relationship or whatever the case may be. Um, this is this message is for you. So um, give me a moment and I'm going to share the message with you and then tell you what the spirit is telling me. So you ready? <laughs> um, This is the message for today. Your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. And how I tell my um, revivers that are mentoring with me for meditation to align their subconscious and remove the past trauma that allows them to think negatively um, from past experiences, whether it be relationships, childhood trauma from parents or from wherever your trauma has come from um, through your life. Uh, no one is going to have these special, powerful hands big enough to pick you up, lift you up, and save you from anything that you're going through. God doesn't allow us to go through things that he doesn't give us the equipment to pull through. And the key word is through. So never think that you're stuck. Never think that this is what it is. The problem is change usually entails something different. Something different usually is something unfamiliar. Something unfamiliar usually makes you uncomfortable. So you become complacent a lot of times or you become too content where you don't want to move. Um, being in a box is, is always beautiful to the mental and to the emotional. But being in that box is only going to allow you to keep walking and hitting those four walls. You have to get out and explore life and realize. And, and as I'm looking, look at this. The ego, the bird, whatever you want to call it. Um, it soars. It soars. It never stays on the ground. Um, and when it's soaring, it gets a lot of attention. Right now, what you're seeking and what you're looking for is not there in that relationship. And in order for you to seek, I mean, in order for you to find that, you must seek different and that's within you. Um, the process of learning to fall in love with you. The process of learning to heal yourself so that you can fall in love with you and not just be in love with yourself is so important. Your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. The change has to be made by you. But I always tell my mentees and my revivers, it just takes one step. Even in meditation, I say, give yourself one minute, two minutes, three minutes. 
every day if you know you have a struggle with something. I'm saying take the most minute, smallest step because guess what? It is a step. It is a step. That means there's movement being made. All right. You know, if this is for you, you know what you're dealing with. You know, the thoughts that are in your head, you know how you have allowed yourself to be in a situation that God has told you to get out of a long time ago. If this is for you, it's going to resonate. Remember to stick to your script because you are the best at it. And remember that you are the most important person in your life. And without you, no one exists. Nothing exists without you. I love you guys. And I will talk to you guys later, Gators.